All right, a Milford teen accused in the stabbing death of a Fairfield prep student is out of jail this evening after posting $2 million bond. Raul Lido Valley is now on house arrest following a brief hearing at Milford Superior Court. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter is at the courthouse with the conditions of his release. And Marissa, this is the first time that we've seen Valley. Right, because this was the first time Valley was in open court. You remember, Eric, he was before a judge last week in Derby, but that's when this case was still a juvenile case, so the hearing was closed to the public. Today, at 16 years old, he stood before the judge charged as an adult. Raul Lito Valley left the courthouse with his father's arm around him protectively. A reminder that though he's charged with murder and three counts of assault, Valley is just 16 years old, a student at St. Joseph's High School in Trumbull. Valley's family posted bond after court Monday, despite Judge Peter Brown's decision not to lower the amount, which defense attorney Jake Donovan requested. Having considered the uh, motion, uh, the court is going to deny the motion for reduction of bond. Bond will remain set at $2 million. Valley is accused in the stabbing death of 17-year-old Jimmy McGrath, a lacrosse and football player for Fairfield Prep. Three other teens were also stabbed. It happened at a party on Laurel Glen Drive in Shelton the night of May 14th. Valley's arrest warrant says the fight was the escalation of an earlier one at a different party between a group of St. Joseph students and a group of Shelton High students. It does not appear McGrath was involved. Valley has been behind bars since his arrest Wednesday after several witnesses identified him. Though now free, Judge Brown put several conditions on his release, including GPS monitoring and house arrest. Valley can only leave for medical and legal reasons that have to be pre-approved by probation. Other than that, it will be 24-7 lockdown. Uh, Mr. Valley will be residing with his mother. He also had to turn over his passport and is not to have any contact with any of the victims, their family members, and anyone else who was at the party that night and is involved. While out on bond, Valley is staying with his mother at her house in Milford. Valley, his family, and his attorney all had no comment as they left the courthouse today. In Milford, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut.